hello my dear students welcome back to our video classes uh, this video we are going to learn one new lesson decimals and their applications decimals and their applications first you have to know what is decimal numbers decimal numbers what is decimal numbers okay the fractions with 10 100 1000 and so on as denominators are called decimal numbers for example uh, 4 by 10 uh, 59 by 100 148 by 1000 okay Look here, not only this 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on, but here 4 by 10, uh, there these are the numbers, 4 by 10. The, uh, what I told the fractions with 10, 100, 1000s and so on as denominators. Okay, denominators, that numbers we can say that is decimals. If you are finding 4 by 10, this is 0 0.4. If you are finding the value of 5 by 100, this is 0 0.59. If you are finding the value of 148 by 1000, this is 0 0.148. So this 0 0.4, 0 0.59, 0 0.148, these numbers are called fractions. These numbers are called fractions. Usually, we have some type of three types of numbers. One is whole numbers. Whole number means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 10,000, 1 lakh like that okay then fractional numbers fractional numbers means this type of numbers one numerator and one denominator will come and decimal numbers decimal numbers so decimal numbers means any fraction the denominator should be 10 100 1000 10000 like that these type of numbers are called decimal numbers this value of this fraction is 0 0.4 the value of this fraction is this this value of this number fraction is this so these are the called decimal numbers okay and uh, next one mixed decimals what is mixed decimals mixed decimals a mixed decimals contain a whole number and a decimal part whole number and a decimal part for example uh, 91.436 91 whole number this number this one we can say integral part integral part okay after the point after the point this one is decimal places decimal places this is decimal point decimal point so what is mixed number a mixed number is a mixed numbers contain a whole number whole number okay and a decimal part whole number and a decimal part this whole number we can say that is integral part whole number one the other name of this whole number is integral part next one next decimal places decimal places what is decimal places decimal places the places after the decimal point the places after the decimal point for example 9.58 the place these two places after the decimal point okay so this is 9.28 after the decimal point 58 so how many decimal places two decimal places the number of places is two places two decimal places for example, 0 point, one more example, 0 point, 4, 3, 9, 1, 2, 3. After the point, 1, 2, 3, 3 places. So, 3 decimal places. 3 decimal places. See, so what is decimal numbers? The decimal numbers means the fractions with the denominator 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Okay, the value of the fraction is decimal number. The value of the fraction, I am not a fraction. The value of the fraction is decimal number. The value of the fraction with denominator 10, 100, 1000. Okay, see, this is 0 0.4. The value of this fraction 0 0.59. The value of this fraction 0 0.148. And mixed numbers, mixed numbers means 
uh, decimal number uh, mixed numbers contains a whole number and a decimal part whole number for example 91.438 whole number and a decimal part this whole number we can say this is integral part this is decimal places okay or, or decimal part decimal places or decimal part this is decimal point this point we can say that is decimal point the last one is decimal places what is decimal places for example say 9.58 two decimal places the places after the point are called decimal places 0 0.439 this is after the decimal point one two three three places three decimal places okay understood next how these decimal numbers and everything is coming How is this? Look here, for example, take one strip, one paper strip, okay, divide into 10 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, divide into 10 parts, shade only one part, only one part, totally 10 totally 10 parts you have shaded only one part so the fraction is 1 by 10 this one already we learned from fraction lesson this one already we learned from fraction lesson okay so what is how this is uh, in uh, uh, how can we convert this into decimal you know 1 by 10 1 by 10 in 10 how many zero only one zero so you have to move this point into one decimal place left side already one point is there yeah so that point you have to move one decimal place left side this is point 0.1 otherwise we, we can write 0 0.1 also if the if here no whole numbers we can use 0 as whole number 0 0.1 okay if it is 100 strips 100 grids 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 more 10 okay if this is 100 now we are going to shape Two, three, four, five, five shaded. So totally hundred, five shaded. What is the value of this five by hundred? This is fraction. Five by hundred is fraction. What is the value of this hundred? Is two zero. So you have to move this point into two decimal places left side. Here only one decimal place. You can add one more zero. Point zero five. Otherwise zero point zero five. Okay. So this is the way we have to find the decimals this is the value of this uh, fractions next hmm. next one is uh, some ex examples i am going to give convert some fractions into decimals some fractions into decimals this is from your book only first question 3 by 1000 3 by 1000 I told you already already one point is there that point have to move three decimal places left side here is only one decimal place so you can add two zeros now see three decimal places one two three three zero three decimal places okay next one five by thousand five by thousand so you have to move this point into three decimal places left side here is only one place you can add two zeros and Next, mixed numbers as decimals. As decimals, mixed numbers as decimals. 3, 3 by 10. 3, 3 by 10. How to write this mixed number to decimal number? How to write this mixed number to decimal number? As I told already, decimal numbers, decimal numbers are the numbers with the, the fraction with the denominators 
ten hundred thousand these are decimal numbers look here you know mixed number means one whole number and one fractional number will come three is a whole number and one fractional number so three already whole number so no need to do anything write three as itself write three as itself three by ten three by ten change this fraction into decimal change this fraction into decimal how many zeros only one zero so you have to move this point into only one decimal place left side point will come here 3.3 okay this is the answer so one more question 5 9 by 10 5 9 by 10 5 is a whole number no need to do anything 10 9 by 10 point move this point into one decimal place left side Point will come here. Point nine. Sometimes, like this questions will come. See, um, three one by hundred. Three one by hundred. So three keep as itself. One by hundred. Hundred how many zero? Two zero. You have to move this point into two decimal places left side. But here only one decimal place. You can add one zero here. Point zero one. This is the answer. So this is the way you have to convert one more. Uh, I can give one more uh, question also. Um, 15, 19 by 1000. 15, 19 by 1000. Okay, 15 whole number, keep as itself, three zeros. In 1000, three zeros. So you have to move this point into three decimal places of side. But here two decimal places, one as zero you can add, zero, one, nine. This is the answer. Okay, this is the answer. And place value chart place value chart of decimal numbers you know the place value chart before the normal place value charts okay uh, once place will be there ones after ones tens then hundreds then thousand then uh, ten thousand like that okay uh, sim ten thousand Now I am going to write one number, uh, 43,431, 43,431, so this is once tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, so simply write 4, 3, 4, 3, 1, if sometimes point four three nine. Point four three nine. Okay, so you have to extend the place value system for like this number. Have to extend the place value system. Before extending, you have to know what is the value of this point four three nine. This point four three nine is less than one. The number less than one we can write after one's place with the decimal point. Okay, the number less than 1, we can write after the 1's place with the decimal point. So, after 1's, the place is 10th place. Not 10, 10th place. Okay, when we are writing, you have to use small letter. Okay, here, capital letter. Here, small letter, 10th place. Next one is 100th place. Next one is 1000th place. 100th place, 1000th place. Okay, here point will come, decimal point. So just place this 4, 3, 9, 4, 3, 9. Now I am going to explain what is this point 4, what is the value of this 4, what is the value of this 3, what is the value of this 3, 9. This 10th place, you know, that is 1 by 10th. 100th means that is 1 by 100. 1000th means that is 1 by thousand instead of one here four so the value of this four is four by ten four by ten four by ten is here only one zero i have to move one decimal place over left side point four will come point four okay the value of this three is i told one by hundred instead of one we can write three three by hundred three by hundred means how many zero? Two zeros. You have to move this point into two decimal places left side. It will come like this 0 0.03. Yeah? This is 0 0.4. This is 0 0.03. Okay, the value of this 9 is 1 by 1000. 1000th thousand place, 1 by 1000. So instead of this 1, we can write 9 by 1000. 
9 by 1000. What is the value of 9 by 1000? Here, three uh, zeros. You have to move this point with three decimal places outside, but here, only one decimal place. Add two zeros and nine zero point zero zero nine. Now, if you are adding this zero point four and zero point zero three and zero point zero zero nine nine three four point four three nine point four three nine. Okay, so you should know what is the value of the decimal places after the ones place that is less than one. If a number has a value less than one, we can write decimal places. Okay, understood? And how to read the numbers? How to read the numbers? 19. Um, how to read the decimal places? Whole number you can read as usual. Whole number you can read as usual. 19. After the decimal point, each one by one you have to read. read. Okay, 19 point. This is not 418.418. 19.418. Here, 246.0016. After the decimal point, each and every number have to read separate. Okay, understood? And... Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.